OK, let's move on to the FTSE 100 movers. Uh, right, well, I picked out uh, a few bits here. First of all, uh, ITV, uh, obviously a broadcaster, uh, probably, you know, Britain's best known uh, independent TV channel. Um, Q1 numbers out this morning. Uh, they were OK, actually, the numbers, and the comments were in line. I think the truth is here that some people had hoped for better figures and improved guidance, uh, so the stock's off around 1.7%. But, but also bear in mind that they rallied around 30%. Uh, since the, the turn of the year. So, yeah. you know, the media sector has been in vogue this year as a, as a potential for an M&A apart from anything else. Yeah, I think so. Um, um, you know, and I, I guess there's, there's always a, you know, a story trotted out occasionally that to uh, what? You know, liberty. Yeah, liberty likes. or, you know, or in perhaps a Vodafone might be casting their eye over ITV because yeah. content is key in, the, you know, in the new converged world of multimedia. So, uh, but for, the, for now, uh, they're, they're, they're tickling down. Um, then 3i Group. Um, uh, positive figures today from them, and perhaps more importantly, uh, as regards uh, that stock in particular, that they've finished their three-year restructuring program. They're now, they're now happy with their portfolio, um, and so I think it's, you know the, the <coughs> market likes what it hears. It's been it's been a bit of a, uh, a winding road to get here. As I say, three years it's taken, but but now the company looks like it can move ahead, and the share price is up three percent accordingly. And then Kingfisher, Sainsbury, and Aberdeen Asset Management all down by at least two. 2.4% or more, uh, but they're all ex-dividend today. So as ever on a Thursday, if you do see some uh, some negative moves, you can't explain them any other way. It's Always check the ex-dividend. They've stripped the dividend out That's of the exactly share the price, reason. understood. Yeah.